Members of the Stones, plus their producer, wrote this song originally for Marianne Faithful. And when she does it, uh, she uses a capo on the sixth fret, but you can take it off for the Stones version, just standard tuning, uh, no capo. The chord progressions are the same for both of them. So the chords I'm sharing uh, are the same. Put the capo wherever you want for your voice and it applies to both versions. The structure is also the same and those parts are shown right here. I'm playing this song on a 12 string because the Stones play it with the 12 string. Um, if you have a 6 string, that's fine. The 6 string is honestly easier uh, just because there's less strings to mess up on and you'll hear some errors when I play this. Um, but the 12 string is a little more authentic. In any case, it is the same progression for all the verses and the instrumental part. The only difference on the front end is that um, the intro basically takes the front end of the main progression, so the G, A, C, D, and it does that once before it gets into the main pattern. In any case, here it is. I know that was a little sloppy, but it's tough with the 12 strings, so it's going to take practice. Okay, now let's walk through uh, some of those tricks, the transition parts. And again, I am not scientific about this. Um, a lot of the picking I'm doing, I am just bouncing around on the strings to whatever I think feels right and sounds right. Okay, so just find what's comfortable for you. But here are some specific things you may want to do. For starters, at the beginning of the song, they just go from an F sharp to a G, okay? So that's one trick to know. A, and then it does this walk up. A, B, C. And they play around a lot with the suspended D chord, so this D sus4, that shape. So they're just using the pinky, just pulling off, and then picking down, okay? And then repeats the pattern. There's that walk up, A, B, C, D, and then it goes C to D, and I'm just picking randomly here, okay? Just kind of hopping up and down. Uh, but this walking part's really important. The G. So they're going from a G and then down to this F sharp. And you can go uh, to the D and A, or you can do the, throw that open G string in if you like. And then it lands on an E minor. And you can stay on that or add this passing note, the D, so it'd be D to C, D, again they're playing around with that D sus4 to D, you could do a D sus2, okay, playing around on that top string. Uh, and then you're right back to the G, okay? So there are a couple of tricks you can do uh, in the transition, but the main thing is just get the chord progression right. And if it's hard for you to pick, take the strumming option, okay? And then over time as you play it more, you'll get more comfortable throwing in some of those little nuances, okay, that make the song so special.
okay? So, that is As Tears Go By. It's a really tender, sweet song. Have fun with this one. Go out and rock on. This is a shout out to BHG475 who requested the song. I've seen some other requests out there. I'll try to get to them when I can, okay? So please be patient. So for those of you that are getting value, I would appreciate some support. Because I really love music and you. So, thanks for the support, everybody. I appreciate it. Take care and rock on. Hey, girls.